Okay, how did I miss this one? Thor versus Vegeta? Okay, let's let, let's jump right into it. God, Death Valley, you guys are incredible. Ooh, they use the evolution the image. Love it. When they appear, and the earth trembles when they approach. Yes! That is not an inaccurate statement. That is not an inaccurate statement. A prince. Uh, prince and an overzealous individual. I can see how that actually works now. Oh, God. Are we going to get that in uh, Love and Thunder? Please tell me we are. To trap it within a block of the magical ore Uru that he would forge into his son's hammer. Oh, damn. Beautiful thing. Unlike Thor's big ass axe, Yarnbjorn, it's sharp enough to cut through celestial armor and it's unbreakable. And why didn't we see this thing? Or did it come later? Impressive key master, Boomstick. It hurts when I breathe. Vegeta's most terrifying ability, however, is the one inherent... No, I always thought about that. <laughs> Look, whenever anyone uses a mouth blaster like the eraser gun, doesn't that not feel weird? Uh, I'm cringing at the source of their footage here. They're using that... That blur fest of a freaking Blu-ray 16x9. Look how blurry that is. Look how freaking smudgy they are. I'm not even focused on the explanation at this point. I'm focused on how... Yuck, that is. Let's sail become perfect. Nah, we'll be fine. Hope your spine is doing all right. Uh, Though Vegeta did I felt that when I was a kid. That even Goku couldn't do on his own, becoming a god. Once he and Goku met the god of destruction, Beerus, they had a whole new line of... It wasn't that different. He just absorbed energy from that, uh, that pocket realm that they sent him to. He just absorbed divine energy from the pocket realm. He doesn't got that under control though yet. Further beyond and become a Super Saiyan God, a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, and a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan evolved. Yes, say it right, buddy. The dude was strong enough to destroy the room of spirit and time, an entirely separate dimension, just by powering up. He just broke the door. Nearly destroyed the universe. That was the very first time he ever went Super Saiyan God. Considering we've measured Dragon Ball Super At least I think it was just the door. 13 times bigger than our own. He'd need to be punching with that much more energy to bust it. And since the shockwaves of their punches traveled across the universe in I... seconds, Goku would have had to be punching that fast too. And that's not a that fight, that, uh, that explanation almost ruined it. If it weren't for the fact that I ignored the TV adaptations of the first two movies of Super, I... Ugh. It would drive me insane. I'm like, okay, they, they're causing those ripples. What's the point of growing anymore? <laughs> At that point, you're too strong. You can't put them in a universe where they're too strong for it. <laughs> that was funny. Yes! Sometimes the best transformations are accidentally discovered. Oh, that savage look. Oh, my God. What was the recent chapter? Do you see a savage look on his face? He's like, Kakarot, stay back! <laughs> what failure to be Goku? He's never lost to him! On record... They have fight. They have fought twice. Goku has lost both. <laughs> why is this con? Why? What is with this Mandela effect? He only lost to him metaphorically in the sense of that he keeps getting stronger than him. But in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Vegeta has always won. Okay, let's have it. These two better have some banter. Ooh, nice 3D. Uh, mixed with 2D. Seems to be their thing right now. All right, let's see pixelated veggie. Oh, damn. Why are we using the red hair? Is that a joke? Is that Lanny? 
It is! Thor's gonna win, come on. American comic characters have traditionally been OP to the point of ridiculousness. Such ignorance, Thor. Nice catch. Ooh, you dissolved it? I have a heart beyond gods. He already used destroyer energy right off the bat. Can the of all you can Technic Technically, he's never mastered the destruction technique. Ooh, okay. It's coming back. Oh. Uh. Okay, straight into ego. Straight into ego. Ooh. Watch, see, they're going to adapt how he just lets himself get hit all the time until he's down. He can't even use all the strength he got. Ooh, I like that quote. You know what? He needs to use that again against somebody. Like, make a worthy opponent. Can't be gas. Can't be gas. Right now, gas still feels like an intermediate uh, adversary. He feels more intermediate than Moro did, and Moro didn't even get that much of a... get that good of a fight until the climax. Oh. See, Cheetah doesn't even... Uh, I don't think he's even mastered the Hakai, Hakai technique yet, so I don't even think he has a chance here. It's over. Thor's got this shit in the bag. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Golden, golden, purple? Golden, purple? What's that? Ooh. Oh, back by destroyer energy. Very nice. And oh, there it is. There it is. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Here it comes. He's going to collide. Yep. Oh, MK style. Beautiful. Make that a fatality for Christ's sake. Yep, call that ship. Oh, I get it. Thor won because he's a natural blonde. Despite <laughs> power and nasty, there were roughly even in power. When Goku applied a Kaioken times 20 boost to fight Jiren, Vegeta kept up after going blue evolve, implying that both increases in power are roughly the same increase. I would agree with that considering they both had the same they both went about the same level against Jiren simultaneously. Given this is the best current example of a measurable form akin to Ultra Ego, we can assume that Ultra Ego's boost in power, at least initially, could be extremely similar in terms of a percentage increase, making Ultra Ego's original state about 20 times more powerful than Blue Evolve. With that in mind, Given that we may be doing this video prematurely, then. Roughly Theoretically, Vegeta could have ended the fight immediately with Hakai, if not for the fact that Thor has resisted Existence Erasure before, including physically... Okay. Okay, all right, that makes more sense. I thought it would be because he doesn't really have a grasp on it yet. And that guy has threatened the infinite multiverse with destruction just as a side effect of his battle. That's a level of power beyond anything we've seen in Dragon Ball yet, let alone Vegeta. Vegeta was never going to go down easy, but Thor's Is he the idea of Galactus that's, that's intriguing, or his actual look? Because he looks ridiculous. And I remember watching, uh, was it the Silver Surfer or whatever it was on Disney Plus, and they couldn't get off their face fetish about this weird close-up shot with his eyes. I'm like, dear God, we get it. We see his face. We get it. He has electricity coming out of his eyes. Who cares? Anyway. Um, see, now I want to see Broly versus Thor.
Because Broly took down the Hulk, and the Hulk versus Thor has been a big topic. It, it, it's, it's, it's always a running gag. And since Broly was um, evaluated by the good team over at Death Battle to be able to take down the Hulk, um, now I want to see him go up against freaking Thor. Let's see what that does. And honestly, I think Thor would probably win, but I would still like to see it. Think of it as like a sequel. But anyway, if you made it to the end of this, and if you liked my reaction, give me a like and subscribe for more. There will be more. And uh, let me know what you thought of this. Like, give me an opinion. I'm not a Marvel buff, but I'm a dr bit of a Dragon Ball buff. And I would... T basically, tell me more ways that Thor is... Basically... Prove to me that Thor had absolute no chance of losing. Have a wonderful day.